Okay. Morena, we're going to look at uh, wheel locks now, also called frame locks, often called cafe locks, which I think is a bit unfair on them. They're for more than just when you're at the cafe. They can save and have saved a lot of bikes. So a frame lock is something that sits on the bike's frame, on the rear triangle usually, occasionally on the front fork and you can just quickly lock it up like that and away you go and the wheel is locked so you use it in addition to whatever else you're going to use to lock the bike you don't always just use that you usually use something else as well so we have a big selection of wheel locks or frame locks um, there's a reason there's a number of types it's mainly to do with different brands having a go at it and some of them are better than others and then in amongst any one brand it's all about the spacing here so basically as bike tires have become wider on city or bikes or the kind of bikes that have wheel locks these have had to become wider as well so this is uh, the, these ones are considered wide can fit tires up to about 2.4 inch at a stretch and then we've had some that are even wider now so we'll use this particular Arbus one if we need something even wider to fit certain bikes so if you're looking to buy one of these wheel locks you need to know more or less which one you need you can judge by the tire size so up to about 2.3 inch 2.4 inch you can probably get what we call the standard ones uh, wider than that you might want to ask us about the, the really proper extra new wide ones um, I wouldn't say there's a lot of reason to try and buy the older ones that are narrower. Uh, in most cases, you, you can use the wider one. Uh, it, it then there's not too many drawbacks to having it. <coughs> you need to know that it's going to fit on your bike. So, some bikes from a factory have a spot for them, and they even have little threaded holes here where you can put the lock on. so that we're able to screw it in. I've grabbed the extra wide one. It's too wide for this bike. I take the normal one. Um, so if you've got those threaded bolts there, it's a pretty good chance that the bike is compatible, but it's not a guarantee. You do sometimes have a bike puts these there even though the alignment's not right, too high, too low. Who knows why they did it, but you just gotta be careful with that. Then if you've got a bike that doesn't have the threaded bolts there, so let's say we just look at the top bit, you can probably still do it as long as it appears to fit. So if, if the spacing looks good and there's not too much other stuff in the way, then this can go here by buying a mounting kit, which basically mimics the threaded bolt. So we'd stick these onto the bike first and then put that on that. Now a lot of people ask, you know, this thing's not particularly strong. Does this present a weakness where they can cut off the mounts? Well, not really, because once the thing is locked on, even if they cut the mounts off, it's still locked. You still have to break the thing. They've given themselves a head start by cutting off the mount, because they can get a little bit more access to it, but not much. It's still more or less the same thing. Also, you might think it's easy to cut these off while they're on there. It's not all that easy. It could take several minutes, which is already longer than it takes them to steal your whole bike anyway. So it's not really a weakness. There's some types of bikes that will have really wide uh, seat stays back here, like a dual suspension bike. They will almost never fit a wheel lock. There's probably someone who's made one somewhere, but generally speaking, it a rear suspension e-bike is not going to fit a wheel lock at the rear. Every now and then you can fit a wheel lock on the front forks. Not usually on suspension forks, usually on um, a, a rigid non-suspended fork. You're seeing it a little bit on cargo bikes these days where it's getting harder to put stuff at the back. But in mo almost all cases if you're looking to buy one of these, you're looking to buy one at the rear. Branding wise you've got several different brands we prefer Arbus we have found that they are harder to break and yes we do 
test that kind of thing. Um, the Arbus ones are generally harder to break. You can also, in some cases, key it alike with your other locks so that you've just got one key that does them both. The plug-in chains, which we'll cover as soon, are also stronger with the Arbus one. So there's a few reasons we would recommend the Arbus one generally, uh, but there might be reasons you go for a different one.